Hi, it's Therese and I'm here for Penny Black and it's time to give me five. So today the technique that I'm going to be playing with is actually spotlight colouring and I've got five different ways to do this and I'm using some of the new Penny Black stamps uh, that are from the Sweet Spring release and I'm starting with this gorgeous girl. She's um, quite a large stamp and it's called Parisian Stroll and I thought it'd be fun to do some really loose water colouring but I'm not actually colouring any of the image at all. So what I'm doing with this spotlight technique is I'm actually highlighting or spotlighting the area surrounding the image so these are all going to be very clean and simple cards today. I've used some Bristol Smooth cardstock because it does tolerate uh, a little bit of water and I am using as watercolours I'm using my distress inks and just blending quite a few colours until I'm happy with the background. I thought it'd be nice to add some different levels of colour to the background because it is such a clean and simple card. And this is really easy to do. I just added the water first to the cardstock just so that the colour could sort of get that watercolory run effect and I'll just set that aside and be back to put it together soon. My second image, this is going to be a very similar design so I am using watercolors again here. This image is called Birthday Balloons and I will list all the products at the end of the video so you will be able to pause and have a look to see exactly what products I have used. Now I've chosen three bright coloured distress inks this time, adding my water, picking up the colour and then dropping it into the balloons. So this time I'm actually spotlighting some of the image, not all of it though. I left that to dry and then came in and added some splatters. I wasn't really happy with this small, bl small brush splattering so I did come in with a larger brush and that was um, gave me a lot bigger splatters which I thought looked better. So I think she, these girls are beautiful and they're quite large stamps too. Now for something a little bit different I've got this is some of the critter stamps which I just adore from Penny Black and this set's called Happy Critters and I've got a couple of the images from this set that I'm using today. I've stamped it on the front of a top fold card but I've stamped it a second time on um, just some scrap cardstock and now I've stamped a magnifying image over top of that. My sentiment is from a set called Oh, what was it called? Um, perspective. That's right. It's got some great sentiments in it. And I wanted to do like a two-tone effect for the sentiment. So this is where the misty comes in really handy. Well, it would have had I been really happy with the colour that I chose. I just wasn't happy with the colour. So therefore the misty did come in handy because I could come back in and actually add another colour over top and actually change the colour that I stamped out the um, sentiment in. I'm using this um, the same stamp set like with the it's called perspective and it has sort of um, seeing eye glass um, images and also some sentiments and my final one is Wiz. Isn't he gorgeous? <laughs> oh, but I'll get back to him in a minute. I've cut out a pair of the glasses. This is uh, die cut and also cut it a second time out of some white foam foam, added some matte medium and then I can just adhere my die cut so that I can pop the glasses up on the front of my card. I'm just going to set that aside to dry. So I have this little image now. This is the Happy Critters and has the magnifying glass over top. So. I'm only going to use the portion of the magnifying glass so with this spotlight technique, colouring technique, I'm actually going to pop the image up off the design so I can kind of ignore the rest of the image that's why I didn't even bother to stamp the whole balloon I only, needed, I only really needed that section that was inside the magnifying glass I will list all the Prismacolor colours that I've used at my blog and you'll be able to link through that below. I did keep the colouring fairly clean and simple. 
on all the designs today because there are five of them <laughs> and even though I did color that in gray initially I changed my mind and colored it green because I kind of needed to match it to the sentiment that I created so this is another these are these little mice are from the happy critters set as well and I have stamped this and the sentiment on the front of a top fold card and what I did was actually work out where the glass or the center of one of the glass well you know where the glasses go <laughs> and I did make some really light pencil lines around that and what I'm doing here is I'm actually only coloring within that area so that when I adhere my die cut glasses over top you'll be able to see the colored image beneath so this time instead of popping up the image I'm actually going to be kind of creating a border for it and it is colored directly on the front of a card and that's one of the reasons why I have used Prismacolors today it's because they don't show through the card and I won't have to worry about that on the inside of the card I have used a little bit of Gamsol to blend some of the images today but some of them I've actually just used the pencils to blend themselves it didn't really matter it just depends on the look that you're going for and sometimes I like the fact that the critters are a little bit pencil looking it gives them some texture and I did decide to come in here I used my uniball gel pen my white gel pen just to add some highlight I did consider actually um, adding some acetate but thought it was too much of a hassle <laughs> Now this is Wiz, he's been stamped, um, these were all stamped with onyx black ink but the sentiment was two-tone stamped, I uh, use uh, like a purple colour for the word blast, that sentiment came from Wet n Wild and I did decide to die cut a star and the area that I want to spotlight on this image is um, within the star, so this is actually spot, the spotlight for this colouring is created by a die cut. So like a die cut oh, you know like it's going to be recessed so I'm going to pop the front off and then the colored bits going to be on the the rear panel which is actually the card front so this is a top fold card and the sentiment I forgot to tell you is from an older set called wet and wild the purples I think turned out such a pretty color <laughs> and I did come in even though they blended out pretty well on their own I did actually come in with my Gamsol and actually blend them out with my blending stump and I think they did it did look a bit smoother and rich, richer I did however notice that the sentiment wasn't exactly the same purple but I do show it here in a minute what I did was actually come back in with the pencil that I was coloring with and added almost an ombre effect on the sentiment just to match those colors a bit better it's all got to be matchy matchy I did kind of consider actually putting the star over the face of the wizard and I think that would have looked just as good but with the sentiment saying um, the word like have a words have a blast I just thought it was even more fun to actually make it like the lightning is the blast to get it <laughs> I didn't over color this background I didn't want it to be too blended out and too perfect and you'll notice in the photos at the end that I did add some extra details I just didn't show you all of the coloring with this image because it did take me a little while to do and I have got five cards here today to share in under I don't know is it 12 minutes I think it is <laughs> very speedy card maker here I popped up the front panel using some fun foam and I just used some score tape to adhere that down because I know that that's going to hold it really well and when I looked at it it just didn't have enough detail so once I had this covered then I knew exactly what I needed to do and I just could add some further depth and details using my pencils 
He's cool, this fella. And that's the first of my cards finished. I'm just going to quickly throw, the, throw together the rest of the cards now. I've added the matte medium to the glass, you know, the die cut glasses, and then this card, all I needed to do was actually just adhere that on top. These little mice are so cute. Now for the girls, I use, use some sentiments. This is from a really sweet set which is called Choose Happy. And I stamped the grey ink a couple of times just because it is on the Bristol Smooth and use my ATG gun to adhere that together. And as an extra detail, I just added a couple of clear sequins. I grabbed a sentiment from the same set for the birthday balloons image. And I didn't bother adding any sequins to this one because I thought the splatters added that kind of party feel and I didn't want to lose them. And now we're up to the very last card and all I did was fussy cut out the magnifying glass and popped it up with some fun foam over top of the image. And that's all of my cards for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Till next time. Bye.